Okay, let's do another example with less transects. Let's say that you want you are in a natu nature reserve in IT and you want to know the number of uh, bird species, ornitho uh, ornithological diversity of your area. So each colon is a species. Here, for example, you can see there is zero 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 because you can even put a, a colon of a species that you expect to, to watch, to see, to observe, but uh, it can be zero zero. So anyway, only five transects. And each time you found the birds species, you put the number of individuals observed. Here I call this site, which is PNE1, complicated. Okay, I open it. As you can see, I can recognize my matrix here. Amazon Avatralis, etc. etc. the species and the five lines, five transects. If I do a little summary, I just check that, that I have only a number of birds. Yes, perfect. Then if I want to do the species accumulation curve, first of all, I need to load the library vegan. Again, as in the previous view, Control R. Okay, I have now vegan with all the functions, especially this one, species accumulation. So if I do species accumulation of my matrix over there, and I, I want to see it, Control R, I will see my different site as soon as I do one site random one not the, not the one in my matrix but one of them on average I will find 11 species plus minus four then if I do only two only two random among my five front six I will find 16 etc et then if I plot this accumulation of species randomly I will have my species accumulation curve here here again you see there is only five transects five sampling five sites and on average if I take one randomly I will have uh, 11 species plus minus uh, uh, the bar are actually not the standard deviation but the uh, confidence interval which is not which is different. Then uh, I can even change the everything. I can show it to you here. I leave you the link about documentation for extra information. Okay. And if I want to change the confidence interval, I will write it uh, uh, full. Okay, without the boundary. Okay. Uh, and I want it light blue. Uh, Control R, I will have it here. Okay. If I change the color of the of the line of the curve, it's here, etc., etc. Okay. You can change the thickness, everything. Have a look over there. Otherwise, my video will be very long. So we can change. Can be nice. And then we can see that after five, mm, we start to have a plateau, but and another six will be very nice to confirm that I don't have more than 20 species in my uh, area, in my little park. Okay, so we have here a, uh, uh, repre um, a representativity, a nice representativity uh, of the biodiversity according to only five sites. Six will be nice, but I still have. A little plateau over there. Let's extrapolate to check if, for example, we continue theoretically more uh, inventory. What can we have? So, to do an extrapolation, it's only space pool with your matrix. If I do spe space pool, it, it tell, it's telling me that okay, are actually found 22 species, but if I continue. Accordingly to the occurrence of rare species from my real inventory, I will find 26 species with the cow techniques with jackknife 27. You, you, you saw in statistics jackknife bootstrapping 
some resampling uh, method in statistics. It's actually resampling method. With Bootstrap, I, I will find 24 species plus minus and a standard error of three species. Okay. And here it's only based on five transects. So not so bad with only five transects we find 22, but for real we we may found uh, between uh, 24 and the two found 30, 24 and 30 species. Okay, uh, cool, 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 cool. We can also do. Uh, uh, pool accumulation and it will give you this uh, uh, this accumulation curve based on your uh, extrapolation okay voila uh, in the next video now I will show you how to calculate the biodiversity index automatically still with vegan